Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial we will going to be learning how to use Eclipse a little bit more efficiently. And in this example we will going to be looking at an employee class which has three sets of properties ID, name and salary. And I need to be now generating the getters and the setters and the constructor for this class. So instead of me having to sit there and code all those setters and getters I would rather let Eclipse code for me. In order to do that all you need to do is list all your properties then simply click the source menu and in the source menu you will going to find generate getters and setters. You click getters and setters now you have a choice of only generating getters or only generating setters or generate both. Why would you only want to generate getters? Well you would like to only generate getters if this is a property that is a read-only property. That means once it has been assigned a value through the constructor or whatever other means, you only want to give the user of this class the capability of retrieving the value but can't change it. So if you want to have a read-only property just go to getter. If you want to only be able to set a property but the property value is not retrievable then you only want to use a setter. For example, if the property value needs to be set by the user and then that value is used in the calculations or some other places to generate other properties values so there's no point of getting the value because the value is only being used as a feeder value. So you're only going to use the setters. However, if you want to generate both getters and setters so you can simply click all the properties for which you would like to generate getters and setters or I could simply click select all instead of clicking each one of them one by one so I could simply click select all or deselect all and then click OK. The moment you click OK voila notice all this code is added for you for every property it adds a getter and a setter and now similarly if you would like to be adding the constructor here and it also adds a Java doc code for you so when you generate the Java doc it is so much easier for you to be generating the Java doc now not just that it also lets you generate the constructor of the class so you can just simply go down into source and you can say okay now I am interested in generating a constructor using fields well so if all the fields are selected and you click OK, it will going to generate the constructor with the three parameters where all three parameters will be used to set the three properties with the, this keyword which we have already learned in the previous classes. If your class does not have a parent class, so there is no point of calling a parent class constructor, so you can simply say omit the call to super, otherwise you'll add the call to super there. So click OK and voila here is your constructor with three properties the names of the properties are the same as the name of the um, uh, parameters are same as the name of the properties so if the parameter name and the property names are same you perceive the property name by the word this so that the system will know which one of the two is property and which one of the two is parameter and if you would like to code an empty constructor you can simply go back in that list source generate constructor using fields and deselect all the fields and then you can simply click OK and that gives you a default constructor like this. Now we have learned this in the past that how one constructor could be redirected to another constructor by simply at this call and you can simply give three values which will going to be considered as the default values and the call will going to be forwarded to the other constructor. So that way you have two constructors but really only one has your assignment statement the other is simply redirecting its call to the first one. So this is another good thing about Eclipse that it lets you uh, save some time by writing some code for you. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. We're gonna now take this example in the next tutorial and we're gonna build our array, array of employee objects. So Catch you in the next one. Thanks.